I'm working on a 1994 Toyota Corolla car. This is an old car, and uh, all of a sudden, its headlight lamps went off. So the complaint was the headlights went off during driving. The car had been brought to me uh, to solve the headlight problem. So here is the problem we are going to solve. Is it seems very very much simple, but sometimes headlight circuit is not that simple, which we are thinking. So here is what we are going to do. As you can see, this is the car, and uh, the circuit is of course not very very big complex. The reason is these old cars, their their electrical is loving very very much simple. Here you can see this headlight head is written. So this is what is the headlight relay, which is located over here. This brown color relay. Uh, power is distributed from here to the headlight and uh, for the headlight as you know this is the universal here is the LED light headlight switch if we are going to put it in like this the light should come on as now it is an on condition so the headlight should come I'm going to show you here you can see headlights are not coming on instead the small light you can see the parking lights they are coming on it's okay it means that the circuit is working up to some extent so what we are going to do is we are going to troubleshoot this circuit step by step so for this purpose I have to see whether this relay is working or not our power is coming up to here or not so for this purpose what I'm going to do is first I have to switch off this light and will show you how to troubleshoot it from the very beginning I'm going to remove this relay so relay, uh, relay had been uh, removed from and uh, from here I can see these are the small terminals which are for of course for coil because there is in the relay there is a coil and uh, there are contacts set of contacts so here are that set of contact which is uh, of course one contact is over here two terminals and here is the coil so this is a simple switching relay from Toyota so what we are going to do is uh, here are we are locating these two are the coil terminal and these bigger one are the spread one are the um, power terminals so over here I have to check the power so for this purpose I have to use my test lamp and uh, negative of the this alligator clip we have to connect to the negative and we'll see the power here so I'm getting power over here the other terminal of course I will not have because this is a coil second terminal and here on the power side I have power also and here will be no so this is and now is the very simple test is what I have to do is I have to put a jumper cable on the power side that is but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just looking for the coil that the coil is operating for the relay or not that I can feel and uh, I can visualize it using my test lamp so by this way I have to connect a jumper cable over here and uh, my test lamp of course to the other terminal. So this is what is my connection setup you can see. And from here I have to switch on the light, the headlights. So if this light is coming on means that the relay coil is energizing like this. As you can see now I am switching on the headlights from here and uh, this relay coil I am getting energized. So it means that relay coil is energizing the very next step should be I have to check for the power as power is coming over there as you see so what I have to do is I have to connect the jumper wire to one terminal of the power terminal power contacts and the other I have to connect using this jumper wire so I jumped or connected or shorted these two terminals which are for the relay power terminals and of course here I cannot see any lights so the problem is with the lights uh, headlights power wiring or uh, whatsoever lamps uh, the one uh, logic is saying that both lights cannot go beyond working or cannot go fuse all, uh, all of a sudden but it could be there is a possibility so we have to replace this wire with the original relay because up to here the circuit is okay it's working so like this and uh, now what we have to do is I have to troubleshoot a little bit more and uh, that is what is I have to connect my alligator clip to the battery negative and we'll see power over here while switching on the headlights 
So here I just switch on the air headlights and uh, we'll see on the headlight terminals. Here are the headlight terminals as you know headlight has three terminals. This wiring has been changed actually the company wiring is over here and uh, this is what is the modification because people are making modifications with cars. So here this is this is normally the negative and light is not coming of course will not be because this is negative and the other one I have to check here I am getting the light on the lamp terminal. So it means that the 12 volt I am getting over here and the other terminal I am also getting 12 volt means that uh, for sure this lamp is bad or this negative connection is bad. So this negative connection should be there. If it is cut somewhere the light will not come on. So I have to confirm for this negative connection is easy. I have to shift my battery uh, the, head, uh, the test lamp uh, crocodile clip to the battery positive. Here is the positive you know. Uh, where is the positive? I have to show you there. There, here is the negative, and uh, here is the positive. Of course, this one is the positive. So now, positive is coming here, and here, if I will ground it, see like this. If I will ground it, the light should come. As now is the case. On the body, I am going to ground it. So by this way, and here I am confirming this wire. So on this wire, if I will connect, the light is coming. Means there is a negative connection on this brown wire, which should be. So this is the case. Now what I have to do is, I have to check it in another way. I have one other extra headlight, headlight lamp, which is of course uh, H4 headlight lamp. So this I can connect it over there in place. So it's easy enough. What I have to do is, I have to grab this connection from the light. And as you see, this is the three terminal connection. And here in my hand is the three terminal. H4 lamp so I have to connect it this lamp externally over there so you can see now the headlamp is switched on but it is not that one which is over here connected the original one this is the replacement headlight which I just connected I have to show you the switching on and off of this lamp so that you will be confirmed from here I am going to switch on off the light see the light had switched off and now light had switched on and here is the light changing up so this is what was a diagnostic on this car so bad headlamp lights so if we will go to replace those bad lamps this circuit will come live so I have to open this headlamp from here we can open it and here is what is one clip I can show you a wire clip is over here which is holding this light in and here is the light which I was talking about here if you will see this light it seems not bad you can see inside there are uh, filaments intacted they are good this seems good but there is some problem with the holder or whatsoever so the light is not coming on so what is the solution is we have to replace these lights but the problem with this light is as at the moment I don't have one in my hand the reason is what the owner had put it in I can show you this is something written as 12 volt 300 220 CP U so this is what is uh, 300 and 220 watt lamp he put it in in this car which is way way big light as I'm thinking normally people are putting 180 100 and the, from the company is coming is uh, something uh, 50 to 55 55 60 that's the standard and uh, people are normally putting uh, 100 80 100 for a big light good light but what this guy had done is uh, he put a very very much big light so this is what is the problem we will go for the original replacement which he did because the reason is he will like this light and I'm, I think with this uh, dirty light Baba. we will not be able Baba. to run it Baba. with uh, 50 55 60 or uh, 180 100 Baba. so that's why he put a big light in and here is our tiny engineer you can see he is working with the car uh, is something sometimes he is also making experiments copying me at the moment he is doing the same thing So this was what was our over repair on this car, it was basic, not very much advanced, but uh, if one doesn't know basics, 
he can not do advanced also so basics also it's a must that we have to understand and then we have to work thank you for watching keep on watching like subscribe and stay tuned